In this video, we're going to talk more about using layer masks. I've got two images here. The first one is my dad in St. Peter's at the Vatican. And on a top layer right here is a picture of a town in the Lake District of Italy. I want to take him and put him into that top image right there. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a layer mask. Now, the first step is to actually take this layer on the bottom and bring it to the top. So notice it's currently a background layer. If I grab it and I try to drag it to the top of the layer stack, I can't do that. And by the same token, I can't drag this layer one beneath the background layer. That's because this background layer is a flattened layer. It has no transparency. So it needs to be converted into a normal layer with transparency in order to do what we want to do here. So the fastest way to do that is just to hold the Alt key down and double click on the thumbnail. And as soon as I do that, notice that it changes to layer zero. And now I can grab it and just drop it up above. So now I can turn this one back on and we're ready now to create the mask. So before I actually create the layer mask, I want to show you that it is possible, and here I'm just going to take the polygonal lasso tool, and just show you that it is possible to make this sort of work in a very crude way, and I'm doing this on purpose, so you can see that I'm just clicking and making a very rough selection here, and there's that selection. And if I just delete that selection now, I'm just going to hit the backspace key, and there it is. You'll notice that that's pretty close to, you know, what I was trying to do. Let me deselect it with Control-D. That's essentially what I want to do, but there are two problems. Number one, it's not a very good job. Obviously, you can still see part of the Vatican image back here, so that doesn't really work. But number two, if you look here in the Layers panel, you'll notice that we've deleted all those pixels. Let's turn off this bottom layer and see what we've done. So I've deleted those pixels. They're gone. I can't get those pixels back. As soon as I save this document, they're permanently gone. That's really not a good idea because my saying goes, why delete pixels when you can just hide them? So that's what a mask does. So to get those pixels back, I'm going to go back to my history panel right here. And I'm just going to click. We'll go back here to this step. And now everything's back in place. I can hide that history. And now we're ready to go. So what we really want to do is we want to make a selection of my dad in the foreground or make a selection of the background. It doesn't really matter. You can do either one. So in this case, I'm just going to make a quick selection with the quick selection tool of him. And I'm just going to go like this and drag this over here. And that looks pretty good. So now what we'll do is I'm going to add the layer mask. With this layer zero targeted, I'm going to click on this button to add layer mask. And there we go. Now that's much better. It's not perfect, but immediately we have a much better mask and we can now start to refine that. Before I refine the mask, so let's take a look at the actual mask. I'll do that by alt clicking on the mask. And you can see, and I'll just zoom in here, I'm using my control and space bar. You can see that there's the mask that was created by the quick selection tool. And if we turn it off and look at it close up, it doesn't look too bad, but it's a little bit ragged in some spots and it needs a little bit of cleanup. So let's take a look at how we do that. I'm going to zoom back out a bit with control minus. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my masks panel. In fact, I'm going to take the Masks panel and I'm going to drag and drop it up here so I can have the Masks panel open at the same time that I have my adjustments and my layers down below. I'm going to collapse this panel by double clicking in the gray area. There we go. So now in the Masks panel, I'm going to click on this button that says Mask Edge. And in the Refine Mask dialog, we can improve upon this mask. I think it's going to help to zoom in, so I'll take the Zoom tool and click a few times. And I'm just going to do a quick job, but it will improve what I did before. So I'm going to smooth it a little bit. And let's see. I'm also going to shift. Let's bring it in a bit. There we go. And that's good enough for now for just a quick job. By the way, we can also see this in view modes here. But that looks actually quite good. So I'm going to click the OK button. And now I'll zoom out with Control-Zero. 
And there we go. There's our mask and there's our composite image. And again, if I all click on the mask, you can see that when we refined the mask, we smoothed it quite a bit. It doesn't have all the junk that it did before. And it's making everything match in much, much better. So let's all click one more time on it and drag that down. And there you go.